Yeah, how it's Meltica, and today you can call me Autumn Melty because Autumn has arrived in Animal Crossing. Yes, I am very excited to show off. Well, it's not the first room is new. Usually the entryway room is new, but I'm excited to show off my flower situation. I figured out a good way of handling the flower stuff. We'll take a tour. We'll look around. It's going to get more autumn-y as time goes on, obviously. But I thought now is a good time to show off new things. We got the acorns and the little pine cones falling off trees. They seem hard to find. Is it just me? But And we'll give some, uh, what's it called? Fish? Because guess who finally caught the elusive mahi-mahi? Me! <laughs> so we'll do some of that. And yeah, you ready for a tour of Starlight Island? Let's go. All right, let's get to it. Hello every there, everyone. Right now on Starlight, it's 1.25 p.m., September 17th. Can you tell I'm doing this during a lunch break? Because I am. <laughs> there, okay, no news. Cooking show. Spice polenta. I like polenta. I have not made it myself, though. But the times I've had it, very good. Thank you, Isabel. I love you. She's so cute. You gotta love Isabel, Nick. It's true. The island. See the little island down there? It's very autumn. Oh, I have to change. Hold on. Hold on. You saw nothing. I have to change. Hold on. Okay, let's get started. So this is... Hello. This is me. I like the little grape backpack thing very much, so I wear it all the time now. Well, you know what? Let's not address the flowers yet. Let's, let's just go in the house. Welcome to my home. It's black and purple. Next month will be black and orange, but for right now, black and purple. Getting into the Halloween spirit, meh. So this is my first room. This is the room that changes all the time. I don't know, it felt like this is a good September look. I keep the posters pretty much the same. Um, I like this wall chalkboard wallpaper. It's very cute. Yes, we got this rose scented incense over here, books. It feels like it's a good time to read in September, you know what I mean? Got the little phone up there that no one can possibly reach, but that's okay. I love this clock, this star clock. I, fr I got it like yesterday or the day before. I like that a lot. We have a moon rug because, I don't know, September and moon, I don't know, it feels correct to me. Still got some of my antique stuff, furniture out. I got this harp. I like it. Little music corner over here. Yes, I have that acorn, this one, and this one. Oh, nope. This one. Are the September, well, not September, it's just like autumn things you can make. I'm missing one. I can't make it yet. Anyway, I have a duplicate. So Red came to me, I think since the last time I recorded, he's only come once. And when he came, he had everything that I already had. So I bought another one of these to hang in my house because I thought it was pretty. Um, yeah. Writing corner here. Some more books. And I put the bonsai in a special place because I would like a bonsai in real life. Also, I don't know if... I think I didn't have this last one. I have Lily's picture. Lily gave me her picture. I'm waiting on literally everybody else. But um, I've been giving them gifts daily and hoping it's going to happen. So hopefully I'll get, I'll get more. This room, I think it's exactly the same, but we'll go in anyway. Pretty sure. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think this is exactly the same as the- as, Oh, I got this light now. I hate that all my cute stuff is not the same color. See? Like, I got some yellow series here, and then we got white and the pink. And then we got, like, the purple and green. What can you do? You know, what can you do? Anyway, that's- this room's the same. It's hard, like, I- I like to spice it up, but at the same time, I like the way my rooms look, so... I don't know. I also realized I had my sound on mute. I'm so sorry. So, you know what? Since we're talking about sound, you didn't really miss anything. I have drive-in in for this month. Yes. You know, let's, let's pump it up a little bit. There we go. So that's in this room. This room is basically the same. I threw uh, my little, what's it called? Garden eel. I threw, I threw him in here. I thought this was like the pet corner because we have all of my pets over here. I got the Jongara, whatever, what is this called? Yeah, Jongara, I like it. So we have that going on in this room. It fits the room. I didn't even know what Jongara was, I had to Google it. 
I've never heard of this before. So that's that. This is the room that changed considerably. It's still a bathroom, but I really changed things around. I like the way it looks a lot better now. So this is my bathroom. So, and we got KK Soul. I really like this song, it's good. Got KK Soul in here. It's really the same things, it's just moved around. I got this mermaid vanity, which I'm like obsessed with, but I don't have any other mermaid stuff. So, I kind of made it a feature. I also have a little privacy shield for the bathtub, or the, yeah, the bathtub and the toilet, so it doesn't have to feel so exposed, you know. I finally got the dividers, those, these are nice, so. The laundry area, and then, yeah, the scale. I like the way it looks, though. It, it feels a lot less messy. Last time it was really cluttered and looked like a hot mess, so. This is a lot nicer, and it feels so fancy with this wallpaper, you know? I like it. The other two rooms, I think, are pretty... Similar. This room. I don't. I think I just took out like one thing. I put a balloon in here. I no, I, that's not true. I did, I moved a couple of stuff. Moved a little extra sink area because we have three sinks and apparently that's not enough. I don't know. Oh, we have four sinks. Oh my god, I'm a sink maniac. Don't worry about it. This is the clay area. This is for prepping. This is for cleaning dishes, and this one's for washing your nasty hands before you eat. Anyway, so this is, that's what, this, this looks the same. Pretty much the same, yeah. I like it though. It's hard when you, when you feel satisfied. The other thing too, I'm not trying to shade Animal Crossing. I threw this balloon in here. Um, there's not, it's not like there's a whole lot more furniture. Like, I feel like I've seen all the furniture options for the most part. That I don't. It's not like, oh, I want to change all of my furniture in this room to, like, the rattan stuff. Like, I don't... I'll pass. So, unless there's more, like, a new furniture set that comes out or something like that, then I might change them. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with what I got. I have this... this... what's it called? The puzzle from Mom? Not puzzle. Uh, pillow. Pillow. It has this M for Melty. It's very cute. Um, the only thing I changed in here, I got these... Autumn. I made all the things autumn. I got another dolly too. Yes. So it's autumn bedding. Well, bedding. I don't know. I just changed it. Yes. I put up pictures of my favorite songs. And uh, yeah. I don't have I Love You. I should put that one up. That's my other favorite. But yeah. I think it looks good in here. This room is so peaceful. I enjoy it very much. I know the dolls face the wall, but since it's always like this... Don't worry about it too much. All right, that's my house. It's time to go out on the town. I want to show you everything, but you know, we might go do donation to the museum next because I have no room. We don't have to, we could. So I decided to put all of my Lily of the Valley in one spot. We got pink I, uh, lilies because I like those. Okay, we got this is trying to get more blue windflowers, but this is, oh, there's one. I don't think I checked this yesterday because it apparently bloomed. Trying to get purple uh, pansies, so we got one, that's great. These are the hybrid red, yes. Then we got up here, oh, I got my first purple. Trying to get purple, I, I barely started the process on the roses. The rose process is so confusing to me that I'm not in a huge rush to do it. We got Halloween section over here. <laughs> and then over here, we have black tulips and the black roses, kind of for the, 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 I don't know. I guess it's kind of morbid, huh? But I don't know, I like to have these out. It feels kind of nice to have a little graveyard, a respectful graveyard. We got purple, we got orange, then we got a lot of these. And the campsite looks the same. Things are basically the same. Down here, let's, you know what? Hold on, let's go down here. We'll just go down here. That's fine. We'll go down here and then we'll go into the museum. This is my field of trying to get purple. We already got two purple windflowers. This is my make hybrids section. Shout out to Tig for telling me about this checkerboard design. That way you know which ones are the hybrid or not. It's handy. 
we got over here trying to get purple of uh, these guys. I forgot the names of these hyanthuses that I can never say. These are hybrid red that haven't been too successful, but that's okay. I'll show you the rest later, but that's like the major parts of like where I'm trying to farm for my hybrid flowers. Again, roses, I'm not too excited about the roses. And actually, since we're here, before I wake him, I got one new picture portrait thing that I actually got from Punchy. I don't know why. He gave me a, a painting that I didn't have. This one. Scenic painting. September 10th. Hunters in the snow. But like, how random is it that he gave me a painting? I was so happy because that was, it was like the day after Red came and didn't have anything new and I was so depressed about it that he gave me something nice. It was, it was nice. The landscape artist from the late Renaissance period. Bruvel? Bruvel? Was known as a peasant artist. Here in the title for depicting scenes of common peasant life, such as the moment captured here. I like it. Note the contrast between weary hunters and the people frolicking below an icy pond. That one's a nice one. I like that it also is like kind of completing this wall, more or less. I mean, there's a couple missing, but... I'm st I just feel like... Are other people having like no luck with red? I feel like if he shows up... He, he probably shows up every eight weeks. Which is brutal. <laughs> That's a long time to wait. No, maybe a little less than that. But it's definitely not monthly, that's for sure. So... Well, maybe it is. Because he showed up last time on the day I streamed, or recorded. Whatever, don't worry about it. I wish he showed up more, is the point. Okay, donation time. We have quite a bit. Let's start with the butterfly. These are really popular. Popular? They're everywhere. Butterfly. The monarch butterfly now. It's nice, I like it. They're so pretty. Did you know the monarch butterfly migrates south for the winter and returns north for the summer? I did not know this. Indeed, these horrid orange beasties do not tolerate the cold and travel 3,000 miles to escape the winter. During their journey, they cluster together in the trees by thousands just to stay warm. I have seen this. Imagine hordes of the foul, fluttering fiends huddled together in one place. If only they put on tiny coats instead. How would they fly? I've seen them in the trees. They're cool. I mean, not near me. I had to go to do this. Go somewhere to do this. Let's do... You know, I want to do a couple and then we're going to take a tour and then we'll do the rest. We'll break up the, the museum giving. Let's give the Mahi... No, we should save that for last. I was in shock when I caught it. It's been so many months of trying. Let's do Turban Shell. I was in complete shock. Okay, tell me. The turban shell is a sea snail with a rather nifty trick up its sleeve or shell. You see, the snail carries a hard, round, button-like operculum where it, where it, with it wherever it goes. What is an operculum, you ask? Why, it's a trapdoor of sorts. When danger approaches, the snail slips into its shell and pulls its trapdoor closed over the opening. Thus, it is locked safe and sound inside. And bravo, I say bravo. <gasps> When it comes knocking, just do what the turban shell does. Shut the door and turn out the lights. Huh. Alright. I like Blather's little things. You learn so much about animals and, and bugs from it. From him. It, it's interesting. Um, let's do... Let's do pike. Tell me about the pike. I feel like this month I got really lucky. Everything I got pretty fast. The pike has always reminded me of a bit of a salmon, though a pike can grow rather large. These brutes can grow over four feet long. Sometimes much over. Oh my god. That's like bigger than people. It is carnivorous and preys not only on other fish, but also mammals and some waterfowl. Wah. If I were to ever meet one in the water, I would have a most difficult time keeping my wits about me. Mm. They're scary. <laughs> I didn't know I should be scared of pike. Alright. Let's do... A cricket. The crickets are everywhere and I don't appreciate that. They're kind of creepy. They make a nice sound though, but I don't like to see them... In real life, I see them all the time and I don't like it. I say, where, I sh where shall I start with the cricket? Well, to begin with, they are mostly nocturnal creatures. And for you, that, you day-loving diurnal type should be grateful. 
Cool. It means you don't have to lay eyes upon their prickly legs or overly long antenna like us night owls. It's true, and they can get big. Of course, crickets are best known for chirping sound they make by rubbing their wings together. Some find the noise lovely to listen to. Alas, it only serves to remind me of another unpleasant fact, which is to say you will find a cricket's ears right next to its knees. Huh. I've gotten weak in the knees at the mention of it. Interesting. Okay, one. let's do like one or two more. Let's do... Let's do mitten crab. Little mitten crab. Jump, come, come. We'll check in with my villagers too. The mitten crab was named for its impossibly adorable and fuzzy little pincers. What? That's cute. These cute crustaceans embark on the. They're quite the journey. They're first born in the brackish waters, then they mature in fresh water. Finally, they travel to the ocean to create more mitten crabs. Wow, they're world travelers, maybe. Who? How I delight in the thousands of thousands of tiny mitten crabs scuttling about. I don't know if I want to see that many crabs. Because crabs are cute singularly, but if there's a lot of them, they get scary. And they kind of look like uh, spiders. Um, you know? Mm. Let's do... Oyster. Yeah. I can't believe people eat oysters. I can't handle it. Oysters are marvelous mullets, and in many ways, social butterflies of the sea. That is, their bivalves tend to, uh, l tend to live, hmm? tend to live attached to rocks in large groups known as oyster beds. I can read. The, these reef-like structures provide home and habitat for a delightful variety of creatures. Mussels, barnacles, and sea anemones have all been known to set up there. Meanwhile, small fish like crabs hide from predators and even raise their young among the snuggling oysters. With all the hubbub, an oyster bed sounds like the last place one would get some sleep. Huh. The sea is interesting. The sea is interesting. Right? Okay, one more. Let's make it a fish, maybe. Yeah, let's make it uh, the sturgeon. Why not? I am missing one. There's some octopus that I'm missing, but I have time to get it, so don't worry about it. It'll come later. The sturgeon is a large and long-lived river fish, which has changed little in the last 300 million years. One curious behavior of theirs is leaping high out of the water and falling back onto their sides. The smacking sound of their re-entry can be heard from up to half a mile away. Likely more underwater. What is so noisy? No one knows why they do it, but I like to think it's their impression of bread popping out of a toaster. They don't know why they do it? They do it for funsies? They do it to be rude? That's it for right now, bladders. We're gonna take a walk. I'll take a walk. Let's check in on the villagers. They're pretty much the same. I've been giving them clothes. Like, a lot of clothes. I've been trying to go through my own personal, like, clothes. Oh, Jin Jin. Look how cute you look. You look good. I love you. Marshall's doing. He's, he's great. He's always great. He likes to say this to me a lot, which I find very cute. I'm just making up as I go along, but I know one thing for sure. Moving to Starley was the best decision I ever made because you live here. Oh, I love Marshall. Marshall's a good boy. Everyone's houses basically stayed the same. Oh, I changed this, uh, this backdrop stuff to fall feeling, you know? Yes. I moved some, some more flowers. They're more organized. So that's a thing. I'm missing a couple here. I'm gonna put in these yellow and orange ones here. Yeah, yards are pretty much the same. Oh, Chrissy, what you doing over here, Chrissy? In her kimono. What, what are you thinking about? Oh, hell no, you're not moving away from this island. No, 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 no. You just got here. No, don't go. Don't do this to me, Chrissy. Yeah, you're a crucial part of the island. Oh, God. They've also been asking me, like, phrases to say, and I never know what to say, so I've been basing it on their animal pipe, but since they spread so fast, then we have her saying stuff like koala, and it makes me feel weird. But anyway, I'm gonna fill in these. I don't know if I want this many pansies. That's a lot of pansies, you know? Bella's not in, Ed's not in. Let's check in with Savannah. I feel like their houses pretty much haven't changed too much either. I wish Savannah's would get 
different because this is like the more basic model, right? Ooh, what is she making? I gave her this. I like this a lot. This clothes thing. The pattern is so cute. What up? What you making? Make something good. Peach hat. Do I have this? I feel like I do. I do. Okay, great. I don't feel like I have a lot of DIYs, but I feel like my odds of getting a new DIY from villagers is so low. It's like so low. That's okay. I gave her this cute dress. I like dressing the, the villagers up. I think they look, they look cute. Alright. Time to go. I feel like I should move around people's houses. Like I said I was going to do that a while ago. Then I kind of like chickened out and decided not to because it's such a big operation, you know? What a poppy. Call me slick. I hate it. She's so cute. I never want Poppy to leave either. I love Poppy. It, ooh! Plus, I don't have her card, so I can't summon her again if she leaves. Bella is still here. Bella is so cute. Bella has grown on me so much. I used to kind of think she was ugly, but she's so cute. I don't want to part with her. I'm trying to be better if they ask that I let him go, but not Chrissy. Put the little pinwheels out. Just, just one over here and one over there. You know what? Let's hold on. Let's go shopping. Shall we? I like the fall decorations for Nook's Cranny. It's cute. I I appreciate that they put up their stuff fall uh, September 1st just like me. <laughs> I appreciate that dedication. Ooh. Okay, interesting. I'll get these later. What's up, Ed? I'm just in my happy place. I could shop all day if it weren't for all the pesky non-shopping activities required by life. Yeah, I mean, maybe I would feel the same. I'm gonna get both of these, but later. But you know, like, little mushrooms and acorns and leaves, it's so cute. Fall is pretty, pretty nice. I wouldn't say I'm a big fall person. Like, it's not my favorite season at all. But since summer has been so hot, I'm so excited for, for, <laughs> for autumn. More importantly, for Halloween. Halloween is where it's at, you know? Alright, what you got? Kicks. I almost called them something else. Ooh! I'm gonna get these. What else we got? What is this? Tool bag! Okay, I don't really- I just- just these are fine. I like the slip-on school shoes. They look so comfy. Pink is cute, too, isn't it? Alright. Well, I'm good, I'm good. Do you think these people will always just be, like, traveling merchant people? Or do you think they'll eventually, like, get more shops? I would like more shops on the island, but that's okay. Pink and some purple ones. Throw an extra purples over here. I don't know what I'm gonna make it look like. Got more lilies. I really like lilies, so I feel like I have a lot of them. Oh, I put the purple ones here. I think it looks cute. I want, eventually when I grow more of the purple ones, I'm gonna put them over here and get rid of the red. Another pinwheel. I've just been putting them randomly, I guess. I like this little courtyard, so I don't really want to change it. A little music center and eating area. It's cute, it's cute. And then I already showed you over there. Let me show you. I also like that you, you can see, oh, what's up, Yuka? What's up? Yeah. Okay. I like how the green in the grass isn't as green anymore. It's more like yellowy. So you really feel like fall is coming. It's exciting. I have one black one. I can't seem to grow more. So I have all these orange, these orange flowers, which I'm not really in love with these cosmos. But oh well. It's okay. We got. Oh, what's up, Pinky? Pinky is like the queen of the mums. I have so many mums around her. <laughs> Even though her wreath on her door is not mums, it's okay. This is the time of day when I get the sleepiest. Yeah, me too. Me too. No time to sleep. Another pinwheel. Ooh. I also put out this little like barbecue station with a fan. I don't know. I thought it was a cute thing. Oh, we got a red flower here. Whatever. I'll take it out later. Chrissy's looks pretty much the same. They look the same. The flowers are just growing in. Yes. And then... Oh. 
No, I'll, I'll pick it up later. I like to have all of the... Oh, Kit Kat. I love Kit Kat. Doghouse, I have this. Okay, well, it's fine. I like the Lily of the Valley so much, but I like that I have like a little, I don't know, patch of them in front of my house. It's nice. I would like to have extra flowers kind of go around all the paths, but that's a long-term project, so yeah. I feel like we have a lot of extra space up here too that could be used for something, but for right now, eh. These are Camilla, I think that's what they're called, bushes. And this is the same. I put this garden rock up here, because why not? Yes. And that's that's kind of it. I took all the tulips that were up here. I got the little... I stuck it here, because you couldn't see it in the secret beach that much, so... Yeah. And that's all just the regular... Regular stuff. So it hasn't changed too much, but just organizing the... What's it called? Oh, nope, I need this. Organizing the uh, flowers. I feel like it feels good. Yes. Alright, blathers. Tell me about some extra stuff. I don't know, have you guys changed up your island severely? Or do you just like to keep it more or less the same? I feel like it's kind of boring, but I, I don't know. It feels cozy, I want it to feel like familiar. But I do wonder if they'll give you more... I just wonder what's in the, what's in the works, you know what I mean? Are they planning on making more shopping buildings? Stuff like that? If not, it's fine. I'm just, I would just wonder. Because if they do, then I'd have to rearrange stuff. Let's give a sweet shrimp. Little sweet shrimp. Tell me. The sweet shrimp spends the first few years of its life as a male. Then it transitions to females at ages. <gasps> Interestingly, it is hardly alone in this type of developmental cycle. Indeed, a great variety of marine creatures can change their biological sex as they age. Like a, a seahorse can do that too, right? Oh, eh? clownfish, some sea stars, sea bass are among them. Wait, what about seahorse? Seahorse can do that too, right? The ocean is full of great many wonders. Huzzah to that, I say. That's awesome. Huh. Again, you learn such fun things. All right, what's up? Let's do... Let's do a bug. Let's do Let's do this sh cicada shell. It took so long for me to find this shell. What I had to do, I was getting so scared I wasn't going to make it in time because it goes away in September, right? I had to get it by the end of August. So I went to Mystery Islands and I just would roam around the island trying to have it respawn and I finally got it to doing that. So... Yeah, the tip for you. Instead of just wandering your whole island, which can be big. Cicadas! The nerve! Not only are they loud, they leave their cicada shells lying about. Have you seen their shells in real life? They're terrifying. Well, it's time for cicada nymph to turn into an adult, you see. A nymph. It clings to a tree and sheds its exoskeleton. And it just leaves the shell of its former self hanging right there. Awful manners, really. And awfully terrifying, too. I forgot, was it my teacher or was it a friend? Somebody in my life used to live where there were those things. And like some boy that terrorized her would take the shell and like stick it on her shoulder. And she did not like that. And the boy very much liked to do that. So how was their relationship? More eel, let's go. Yes, tell me. Despite its rather frightening features, the moray eel, eel is really a very cowardly fish. It lives its life hiding in caves and will only attack if you're looking for a fight. You've heard of a bark that is worse than its bite? Well, the moray eel has a face that's worse than its fight. Poor moray eel. <laughs> okay. I feel like I've never seen an eel here. Do they have them at like aquariums and stuff? I kind of don't think so. Let's do this. This is a flatworm. Flatworm is very cute. Tell me about the flatworm. I want to know. Marine flatworms are, well, flat and worm like, as their name suggests. But while the sea creature is said to be quite simple, it does possess some rather remarkable powers. You see, when flatworms are injured, they can grow new body parts with ease. And when a flatworm is cut in half, each side can grow a whole new flatworm of its own. Eh? 
but most impressive of all. Some flatworms can clone themselves without suffering a single cut. What? They do that, like, what's it called? The jutsu thing that Naruto does and just boom, another flatworm? If only I too could safely divide myself in two. Imagine all the work I could do. I don't like the idea of making another version of me. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, what if she was evil? <laughs> what if she was like, I'm the original. I'm the original Melty. I have to kill you. So there's only one of us. Like, what if that happens? You know, I don't want that to happen. It just seems like a potential for being very dangerous. That's all. But I guess if it was like exactly how you would feel, I wouldn't want to kill anyone, even in my clone. So maybe that wouldn't happen. I don't know. You just never know, so. Mm. Okay. The call of the bell cricket heralds the auto arrival of autumn, and I concede it is a rather pleasant sound. What I do not find pleasant is the way these things rub their strange wings together to make their song. Ick and bleh! And to make matters worse, bell crickets have been known to shed two of their four wings. Ew. They simply leave these wings where they fall as if it were litter. I simply cannot abide by such odious behavior. Yeah, same. The theme of today is bugs that litter. Their body parts. Can you imagine? That's kind of disgusting. Okay. Let's do salmon. I love salmon. I love to eat salmon. It's like the only meat I feel like I enjoy. Is that true? Yeah. Eel is pretty good too, but it's so expensive that I've only had it once, so you know. Ah, salmon. Did you know their coloration is due to specifically to their diet? Yes, I know this. Indeed, this is the case. The more they fill their diet with crustaceans, such as krill and shrimp, the deeper shade of pink they are. Yes, yes. If they ate a bushel of carrots, might they turn orange? Okay. I was excited to get the salmon, though. They have, like, beaks, you know? I always forget about that. They're little beaky boys. Okay. Ah, uh, we're in Hercules. I caught this on, like, the 31st or something, like, really lucky. It, it eluded me all summer, and then I finally catch it at the last minute. The Horned Hercules is not only f known for its tremendous strength, but for its size as well. It can grow up to seven... <gasps> it can grow up to seven inches long and has the powerful pincers covered in hair to help with gripping. Seven inches. Can you imagine? You just mind your own business and you see a seven-inch beetle? I would move out of the whole state, country. Oh my god. As if this weren't ghastly enough, these behemoth beetles let loose a foul odor that fends off enemies. Oh my god, stinky. And that offends my sense of smell. Beetles are terrifying. I'm so glad we don't really have beetles here, do we? I don't think so. They feel like more East Coast problems. Beetles. Yeah. Uh, Gigas. Giant clam. It's a big one. Tell me. I've never even heard of this before. Gigas giant clams live in warm water coral reefs and are the biggest bivalves in the world. Oh. Growing as wide as six feet! Eh? <gasps> That's bigger to me! <laughs> Growing as wide as six feet and weighing up to 600 pounds! Oh my god. These clams can live up to be 100 years old. And yes, these mighty creatures could look, look as though they could eat a swimmer whole. But they eat plankton instead and get valuable nutrients from an algae that they live in symbiosis with. Oh. Indoor, indeed, these enormous gents get all the sustenance they need by lying face up with their shells half open. If such was my life, I'd be happy as a clam, too. That's cool, man. Huh. I want to see one. If you, like, poke it and stuff, will it shut? Or no, they don't care because they're like, you're just a lowly human. I'm not sure. Here, king salmon. King salmon. Tell me about the king salmon. It's just a big version of a salmon, right? Or no? They look very different, though. The king salmon didn't get its name for nothing. This stately fish can weigh up to it. Huh? Can weigh up it. Eh, weigh in at up to 130 pounds? It's clear why it's referred to as the king of salmon. 130 pounds of salmon? That would last me, like, a very long time. Maybe my whole life. Just one. I just, I just murder one king salmon, and that's, like, all the protein I would need for the rest of my life, maybe. Probably. I don't need a lot of fish but that would yeah i would feel okay with this i imagine even the mightiest nets can catch no more than a few at a time yet they're big i must say it's a miracle to me that you didn't get dragged out to sea by this one what okay 
You know, man, I've pulled out giant, like, great white sharks, sunfish, with one hand. King, King Salmon's not gonna take me down. Let's do... Chambered Nautilus. These guys are cool. I like the Nautilus. They look very nice. They're shells and stuff. Tell me. The Chambered Nautilus is perhaps best known for its gorgeous shell. Yes, yes, I just said that. Not only does the shell's interior shine with a pearly luster, it features a near-perfect natural spiral. Yeah, it's cool. But those aren't the Chambered Nautilus' only bragging rights. This cephalopod can have up to 90 tentacles. It said, ooh, you just kind of took away the beauty, didn't you? These arms come coated with sticky substance that helps the Nautilus capture its prey. You're, you're, ruining, you're ruining it for me, bothers. Which is far better than using them for overly long hugs, I say. Well, sometimes knowledge is, is knowledge is always power, but sometimes knowledge is not what you want to live a happy life with uh, knowing that that exists. Next, red dragonfly. Dragonflies, I like them, not near me. If they come near me, I get very scared of them. They don't come here, really. They're very rare here, I think. But in Japan, they're all over the place, and I don't like that. <laughs> I won't deny that the wretched red dragonfly is an elegant aeronaut. It manipulates its four wings quite uniquely so that it can hover and maneuver through the air with ease. But these veins on its wings would get Yeah, th that's not good. What ghastly things. One can't help but gasp at the sight of them. Appalling aerodynamics indeed. I think, like, they're mostly terrifying and I don't want to touch them. But if I don't have to look at them and if an artist drew them, I think they're pretty. But you can't think about them being veins, you know what I mean? Alright, time to give my Maki Maki. I've waited since May for this moment. I can't believe I've had so much trouble with this Mahi Mahi. I think I'm like the only person. Because it's not as rare as some of the other fish, but for some reason, I have I must have given thousand of bait. Like, I had so much bait. My friends were giving me bait to catch the Mahi Mahi. And it never worked. But then just one day I got it. It's funny how it works like that. <laughs> All right, tell me about... I don't like eating this fish. I had it once and I thought it tasted weird. The Mahi Mahi is an ocean fish known for its wide, somewhat cute face. I don't think I agree with that, but I'm biased because I'm kind of mad at this fish. It can reach over six feet long. Ooh, big. It is known by different names, including dolphin fish. Oh, even though it has no relations to dolphin. Then why is it called that? They live only in warm tropical waters, which perhaps explains the relaxed, happy look on their faces. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. So, that's it then. You know what I want to do to close up? I want to, we could go look at bugs, but I don't want to. I would rather go look at all the fish, because we have a lot of fish, fish um, donations, right? Which part is your favorite in the aquarium? This one I like a lot. I like that you can go around it. You can look at it from this side. And this side. This is nice too. There's our pike. Or sturgeon or whatever that thing. The scary one. That slaps on the water. Got these guys. These guys over here. It's so filled out now, you know? It's nice. I remember when it used to be so empty. Look at them. In real life, you can't have this many different types of fish in one container though, right? They'll like start murdering each other. Wait, let's go this way. Let's go this way. I'm pretty sure. But like a beta fish, that, that blue one, uh, those fight. My friend's kid has one and they, uh, they fight. <laughs> if you have two, I guess they'll fight to the death or something. Like these fish need to calm down. This little seahorse is so cute. Love the seahorse. But you can't have like a seahorse and a shark in the same tank. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at the mitt. Is this the mitten fish? Or crab? Dab? Saw shark? Olive founder? Nope. Mm -hmm. Squid? Moray eel? Ray? We knew the ray. I love that you can see the best part of the ray, which is the derp face. I love it. Oh, it's the gazami crab. He looked like he's playing the bongos or something. I like it. Octopus. It's so nice. 
I love this aquarium so much. Sometimes I'll just come here to relax if I'm stressed out. Just sit my character here and just listen. Colorful squad over here. I like it. It's so nice. This one I like a lot too. Maybe this is my favorite one. With the sea butterflies and stuff. It's cool. What's in there? Can we look in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, just sea butterfly. Oh no, scallop, sea urchin, whelk, sweet shrimp. Oh, sweet shrimp added. The whelk is cute. Oh, I like the jelly floor. This one's also very nice. Oh, let's go here. It's weird we're almost done, you know? Like, it freaks me out a little bit that we're almost done collecting everything. So far, I haven't missed stuff from the month, so if I keep it up, we should be in good pace. Mumbles are so cute. The sunfish. Mumble. They're so cute. That's the mahi mahi, right? That one in there. I like how one horse mackerel is just hanging out with sharks. No, seriously, though. Yeah, there it is. That is... Well, who says that's cute face? Is that a cute face? I don't think so. This is just such a, uh, a random amount of different types of fish in that one container. Container? Thing, you know? This is the deep sea guys. I think they haven't changed, right? Oh no, the Nautilus is down here too. See him? I see him. You see him? I can't imagine what it would feel like to, like, you helped construct, you helped make, like, an entire aquarium by everything you caught. Can you imagine? That's wild to me. It's never gonna happen in my real life, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta appreciate this moment. <laughs> Alright, I think that's gonna do it. I feel like we took a little tour of the island. There's not whole, a huge update this time, but I wanted to just show off the things that I kind of was able to do, you know? Things that I changed, stuff like that. Next time, like I said, I'm hoping to show off the Halloween whatever the Halloween situation is. We'll do that together, hopefully. And yeah! So that's it for September! So that's it for September. I hope you enjoyed the little mini update. I always like to check in and show off what I've been up to in Animal Crossing. This game is is a nice constant, I feel like. Try to make time for it, even if it's like five minutes. It's nice to be able to just make time, check in with your villagers, fish a little, or I don't know, water flowers. Just take it slow. Live the slow life. It's very, I, I like it. It's very nice. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully we'll see each other next month. Yes, for another update. Until I see you, whatever I see you next, remember to be kind to others, especially yourself. Take care, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye!